Hypocrisy and controversy coming from anti-GMO activists? <laughs> Say it ain't so. Chill powers engage! Hello everybody, Jeff Holiday here. Recently, one of the heroes and big names in agricultural and biotech sciences, Dr. Kevin Fulta, has come under attack by a slew of anti-GMO protesters and websites and groups for apparently getting $25,000 from Monsanto. Now before we get into exactly why this whole thing is a giant hypocritical fucking mess and an utter failure by these people, first let's actually look into what happened. Back in February of this year, 2015, an FOIA request was put in for Dr. Fulta's emails, hence any of his correspondence that was going through the college for his science advocacy and his work with uh, students or anything. His entire email had to be completely open because he is a public scientist. And this was done by an anti-GMO activist group because they were trying to find links that could discredit him. Well, as it turns out that he had very, very little contact with Monsanto, but had tons of contact with many other different industry giants and outreach programs, science advocacy groups, educational programs, etc., etc. Was there a big controversy? No. Not at all. But rather than the anti-GMOers actually stating what they found, they kept digging. And as it turns out, that $25,000 was given from Monsanto to an outreach program that Fulta was a part of. Keep in mind, this money did not go to Kevin Fulta. He did not get to take this money home. He didn't get paid this money. Every single bit of that $25,000 ended up going to a venue, travel expenses, snacks and coffee for the people that were there, and materials for presentation. Dr. Fulta is a public scientist, and what that means is he relies upon grants. He relies upon the money that's given in to be able to do his research, and by and large, he has throughout his career been able to avoid any conflicts of interest. As of right now, he himself publicly stated in several of the Reddit Ask Me Anythings that he has done, yet again a great showing of how outspoken and publicly open he is to everyone, that he has been getting grant money from a strawberry producer to do work on strawberries and detecting how their flavor works. And it's actually really interesting and fascinating. I suggest Googling Kevin Fulta Ask Me Anything on Reddit, and you will find scores and scores of really interesting information of what he's been doing and his stance on this entire situation. So did Kevin Fulta get any money from Monsanto? No, he did not get paid by Monsanto. It's a matter of public record. You can, because of his status as a public scientist, go and, and request all of the transaction and, and banking information that you need to about any possible conflicts. The reason why nobody's been reporting on that is because if they've already done so, they've found out by now that there's nothing damning in them. And of all people to try and pick on for the pro-science crowd, picking on Kevin Fulta is like picking on Mr. Rogers. He's the nicest guy on the planet. He, every single day, spends time out of his own time just to answer people's questions online, re respond to emails. He's a very open and engaging and intelligent person. So jumping down his throat is just completely bizarre. Since this came about, one of the most outspoken critics of Dr. Fulta has been Nassim Taleb. I probably got that name wrong. Doesn't this jackass look just like a goddamn Bond villain? Who is a statistician over at New York University, and he has been extremely belligerent and insulting and slinging out some of the most obscene comments, calling Dr. Fulta a shill. Uh, I myself have been banned from his Twitter for over a year now simply by putting into question some of the things that he ascertained. And by ascertained, I mean he pulled out of his ass using statistics about GMO dangers. It's the same thing that Stephanie Seneff did when she used her computer models to claim that all children, half the children in the world will become autistic by 2050. How it is that a statistician or a computer scientist or a food babe really feels like they're qualified to start talking about the actual dangers of GMOs versus a public scientist who's the head of the agricultural department at a major university, I will never understand. I'll give you a sample of some of these scholarly quotes that come from this man. Some excellent news on GMOs. There's evidence that the GMO shills, paid propagandists and lobbyists masquerading as promoters of scientific awareness, do not have many hits on their sites. They are truly unpopular. These small gangs can attack GMO opponents and terrorize and bully some lone scientist all they want. 
I can see that the strategy of GMO companies is to lobby governments and newspapers, which is much easier. Really, rallying people to attack a lone scientist. Hmm. Or even funnier is one of the anti-GMO groups GMO Inside, who have been posting memes such as this. Full disclosure, Mr. Fulta. It's Dr. Fulta, first of all. But GMO Inside is one of those faceless groups of anti-GMOers that have people bandwagoning with them to try and affect some sort of political and social change. Now, if we're going to go full disclosure, we have to understand that GMO Inside is a bot group. It is a conglomeration of different special interests, all for one very specific purpose, to try and push an agenda on social media. That's entirely what they do. This is classic psychology and marketing. So who's behind them? Well, there's Food Democracy Now, Green America, the Institute for Responsible Technology, Jeffrey Smith, the yogic flyer, Ooh, his little fucked up group, Label GMOs, Nativa, and the Food Babe. And the Food Babe, Vanny Hari, has been a very, very loud detractor from Kevin Fulta, mostly because he has very politely and very calmly tried to explain the flaws in some of her logic and the errors in some of her claims. So it's not hard to imagine that she's probably playing a large driving force trying to discredit Dr. Fulta's work. But it isn't just stop there. GMO Inside is supported by Nutiva Kamut, which is an organic agriculture uh, group to support organic farmers, Royal Hawaiian Orchards, another, another organic group, uh, the Guayaki brand Yerba Mate Company, uh, Crofters Organic, another organic group, and Coconut Bliss. And it's worth pointing out that most of these are corporations. These are special interest groups that all have something in common. Organic. The vast majority of these companies don't have anything to do with any types of crops that are currently genetically engineered. So why would they be behind GMO inside? Well, that's easy. It's because they're pushing this narrative that GMOs are bad, and when you convince somebody that GMOs are bad, they'll go organic because to them just saying no genetically engineered is not enough because these people are not saying just avoid GMOs, they're saying avoid GMOs and <laughs> it's a money grab. So the comparison between these groups and a public scientist that is not getting any, you know, private funding to be a paid shill is mind bogglingly fucking stupid. And GMO inside in specific, they have a brilliant social media team. Earlier today, I was very calmly, me and several others, trying to bring up points, pointing out the flaws in their claims that Dr. Fulta is a shill or a paid propagandist. And, well, I'll show you the screenshot of the page where my comments were. And if you rewind and you look, you can tell that I'm banned because I can't comment anymore. Which is basically the tactic all these anti-GMO pages do. They silence dissent, they delete any type of contradiction, and they ban you. They try and silence your voice if you have any contrary notions whatsoever. Same with Nassim Taleb. Same with any of them. Food Babe? Man, I've been banned by Food Babe for forever. So Dr. Kevin Fulta is not a shill. It's just preposterous. Out of any of the people that are in this fight, any of these science communicators, he's the last person who would ever be a shill. It doesn't make any fucking sense. But you know who is a shill? Vandana Shiva. It's common knowledge that to get her to do a speaking engagement, she charges $40,000. And that's not for materials or for travel costs, because she also wants you to buy her a ticket that is simply just for her to come and speak. You are paying for her presence. She's not an advocate for anything. She is a public speaker. Same thing with Jeffrey Smith, although he makes most of his money off his book sales, and he goes and does talks to try and promote his book. And where does that money go? into his pocket. Or the food babe, another person who's profiting madly off of this kind of stuff through books and through TV appearances and this, that, and the other thing. So when you take this mountain of these personalities that are profiting directly off of this fight versus one of the nicest, most time-given freely and incredible uh, teachers of agricultural sciences, it is horrible. And the bullying of Kevin Fulta is absolutely astonishing. And honestly, every single one of those people should be ashamed of themselves. But I'm going to leave you with one little salient point that somebody else pointed, and there's a couple of memes running around about it. And uh, I'd like to compare some Rate My Professor style websites of Kevin Fulta. 4.8 overall quality score, 5.0 for helpfulness. I had Professor Fulta as my professor over the summer during a summer science program I did. He was a great guy and opened a whole new world of science to me. I wish he taught a class because I would surely take it. Versus Nassim Taleb, 1.0 for overall quality. 
For someone who argues that awareness is so important and that we should be aware of academic arrogance, it is stunning to see how pompous and self-centered Taleb is. I can only imagine how he treats people in the service industry, because it is not possible for him to be more self-indulgent and crass than he is to his students. Now really, who are you going to listen to? Hello, my name is Jeff Holliday, and I make videos on science and skepticism. Evil mm. biotech. Sometimes I play video games. Break yourself! Mm. And sometimes I'm just goofing off. If you like anything that I do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like that. And don't forget to check out my other channels. Thanks.